Hello, Vindy Gamers! This is Legend Arma TV. Today is the new patch day, and uh, for the next month, we are getting... Nothing! Nothing! The amount of uh, stuff that is in this patch are just so tiny, I, I don't know. Honestly, we are getting uh, the least stuff here. Literally, only a friendship skill for Kai and Vela and uh, the inside content. <clears throat> which is just uh, emoticons uh, on top of your head. Uh, so, I mean, really? Really? The next month I have nothing to do? I mean, wow. Just freaking wow. All right, let's go through the patch notes. Let's see the sales, let's see the events, and uh, what's in store for us. Let's go. All right, let's go through the patch notes, see what's up. Version 2.73. Major content table is friendship skill update and mood contents. First up, friendship skill update. Now Kai and Vela are available uh, to do their friendship skill. And uh, if you are level 5 with Vela or Kai, uh, vice versa, you can unlock the Squall Driver uh, destiny skill. Uh, this is uh, just like every other pairing. They can now do their friendship skill, and it looks really, really badass. Let's have a quick look here. It's really awesome. That kick of the blade is freaking badass as heck. It's amazing. I love it. And of course, ook, ook, Magnum at the end. And tackle that motherfucker! Tackle them! Yes! Yes! That's Vela. That's... Oof! I'm excited. This is really good. This skill... This friendship skill is one of the uh, good-looking... I, I really like it. <clears throat> and that's about it. So, you reach level 5 uh, with uh, either Kai or Vela, and you can use that friendship skill. Next up, mood missions. So, the mood content, it's... Uh, it's not really content. Basically, uh, you unlock moods, which uh, you have these emoticons on top of your head of your character, and uh, it just represents your character's mood. You can have, uh, you can finally have plus shy emote on top of your head, so everyone will know that you are ready for some ERP. So this is gonna be great. Go to channel one with plus shy emote on top of your head. You're gonna just uh, have a really good time. I'm telling you. So, uh, you can learn new uh, emoticons or moods through the new missions available in town and battle. I will display as an emoticon. Uh, press a 1 to view the missions related to that mood. Uh, three to four different missions will become at this time. Uh, to accept uh, one of these missions, you have to press and hold the corresponding key. One, two, three, four. So, it's everything, I guess, in town that you have to do. Can be accessed via the main menu, uh, T key, um, by default. Uh, we'll earn mood seals. Okay, so you need to earn mood seals and mood related status effect called a feel good boost. So I guess with mood seals you can buy emoticons, different types of them, and feel good boosts is um, uh, you get it after you complete a mission related to that. Uh, feel good boost lasts for two hours whether the player is logged in or not. Each mood has a different feel good boost, and while a feel good boost is active, player can display its related mood over there. Yeah. Purchase mood emotes using mood seals at the exchange shop, right? Uh, we will need to see what the boost is, but uh, I'm not quite sure. Commands in the chat, joy, cry, mad, fight, calm, or dizzy. Wait, there's no plus shy mode. Okay. Well, guys, you will have to wait with uh, ERP a little bit more, I guess. Uh, I, I think they're going to add more emoticons in the future, so... Um... Uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, and can't use them in RAR, PvP, or Magma Arena. Okay. Other changes. Oh, there is also something here at the end. Change the price for Grimden's basic inner armor. Uh, if you're playing Grimden, you're probably going to be really hyped for that. Uh, the twinkling armor leggings, uh, all the uh, twinkling stuff are bound upon trading. Mm -hmm. Fix the issue and fix the issues. That's it. That's that's the, all the patch notes. Like, really, nothing here. Uh... I don't know. I I, I honestly, uh, for the first time ever, I am just... Uh, I, I'm not playing Velo or Kai, right? So this friendship skill is just nothing that, you know... It, it's really exciting, it's really cool looking, but uh, for the person that doesn't play them, you're literally just not, not getting that. That's that's just cut from, from, from the contents for me. 
The mood missions, maybe it's really cool, but we'll have to see the boost, but uh, this is quite, quite... <sighs> Resident Sleeper patch notes, Jesus Christ. All right, let's get to the uh, other stuff. Uh, let's talk about Gacha. New month, new gacha. New loot boxes. This time it's Edel or Edel uh, Crystal. Uh, this is a resale. 100% resale. Uh, nothing new. No new sets here. And it's really, really bad. Because... We would want to have, like, you know, new uh, outfits. Not just the resales all the time. Like, what the hell? So, uh, we get special uh, Butterfly Kiss set. It's returning. Uh, either Normal or Aura. You can see these blue sparks. Butterfly Kiss is a really nice set. A, a very wholesome outfit. It looks really cool. Special Dark Herald set. Aura and Normal as well. With uh, uh, some orangish uh, sparkles here. Uh, Dark Herald looks really badass on uh, male characters. Airtight special Dark Queen set, returning yet again. That's like a third resale, I think, or second. Uh, with Aura and without Aura, so uh, choose whichever you want. You can see it on the preview. Airtight special Dulahan set, even though for some particular reason in this particular screenshot it feels like there is a female wearing that Dulahan set. Maybe, maybe I'm just... Uh, thinking too much overthinking but if it's will if they actually made it available for females as well i might actually get that i love that set it looks really cool and oof, uh, please close your eyes if you are under 18 twinkling equipment part, especially if you're looking at the karak oof, he's too intense man uh twinkling equipment parts so uh these basically remove the uh, part of your character uh armor so if you're wearing a twinkling armor piece the chest piece your chest piece is going to be naked so the only it's going to look like you're just wearing inner armor right so uh, if you're wearing a bra it will just show a bra and uh, it, it will be slightly uh noticeable that it's twinkling but uh they nerfed it well buffed it actually so uh, it's uh, you can barely see the twinkling little uh, transparent parts so it really makes your character look naked so and yeah the gacha the probability rates uh you can find it over here in this button the amount of coupons what costs what and uh, the amount of uh, coupons for twinkling stuff it's just it's ridiculous um also uh huge note twinkling items armor leggings earrings bracelets shoes are regular armor uh items they're not outfit items so if you are getting these twinkling stuff uh you will have to use uh if your stuff is bound to you you'll have to use a premium armor fusion rune so you can fuse it into your gear so it's not an outfit uh be advised uh, also, whenever you trade Twinkling stuff, it gets bound to the person, so they can't resale it back. So, uh, this um, this is about it for the crystal. It's really underwhelming, because I actually have everything, and I'm not really interested in the Twinkling stuff. But for those who've been waiting for Twinkling stuff, uh, armor pieces, uh, this is really hype, should be really hype, because uh, the last Twinkling um sale or event was many years ago actually so this is a huge comeback for for you know for the big fans of this stuff next up uh february avatar shop update and uh, this is basically what they said in the patch notes uh, grimton's basic inner armor price changes so uh i guess they fixed it uh or uh nerfed it i don't know um so whenever if you're a grimden main let me know uh, if, is this good or not and this is basically it. this is it no new inner armors no new hairs uh that's quite sad next up homeward hero pass event and the sale so the uh, this is going to be really interesting this is the second time the hero pass comes to vindictus the first one was quite ridiculous on the price it was 70 dollars for a premium hero pass uh and but there was a lot of stuff there so it was like it was really worth it this time it only costs um uh, 15,000 in X, so $15. Uh, so you unlock, you, you have a regular line of the Hero Pass, and you can actually purchase a uh, premium one. 
uh, with a uh, grand prize of a uh, fox tail destiny box uh, in two, in three different colors: the the blue, the orange, and the green. Uh, they look really cool. So uh, basically, what you do if you want to get the tail, you will have to purchase a fifteen thousand NX uh, premium. Uh, pass so you can unlock the premium line and then every day you just do missions to complete your uh, hero pass levels just like in every game just like any battle pass you do some quests and uh, uh, you unlock rewards every day once you reach the end you get the uh, grand prize and that's it it's complete uh, you can also purchase if you're lazy or away. You can do the uh, you know the missions every day. You can purchase the uh, tickets that will be um, uh, that will level up your uh, hero pass uh, by one level. Uh, it costs one point five thousand uh, NX, so uh, one and a half dollars. But uh, there is literally not. It shouldn't be too hard. Usually the missions are like you know do three raids or. You know, buy a kitty pod. It's just something like what temporal missions are, pretty much. There was the categories. What do you get? Uh, helping hero box plus um, AS. I think it's it means account shareable. So uh, for every level, you get uh, helping hero box, then departure licenses, uh, unbind pots, goddess graces, materials. It's like enhancement rune. There is a lot of good stuff here, and for fifteen dollars, I think it's uh, not too bad. And at the end, uh, there is twenty-one levels, right, of the hero box, hero hero pass. Yeah, the pastel fox uh, tail destiny box, which is the grand prize of this thing. Uh, you see the normal, the regular line right here, all the rewards. It's Damascus Steel, uh, Destiny Box, and just AP, some Brain Elixirs, Ancient Title Destiny Box, and this one is the Premium Line. The, the Premium Line unlocks, as I said, at 15, whenever you buy uh, the pass for 15,000 NX. So uh, you get all these things over here as well, so you get them both. <clears throat> There is the content details, uh, blue, green, beige, fox tails are really awesome. Uh, the hero help box is uh, contain um, contains merc recovery pods, goddess graces, and fatigue. So this is really good. Damascus destiny box is you either choose two Damascus steel that can be uh, used upon uh, up until Astera, or you can use one Damascus steel that is going to be available even for militia. So if you'll have to choose wisely, what do you want to do? Uh, on the right side, you see what is shareable, what is not, what is bound. Divine materials, it's uh, godly stuff, three uh, of each. And the new era materials this is the same as the god, uh, the god thing. So the hero pass is coming back uh, 21 levels. Uh, you can... Uh, just participate in it. If you don't want to spend anything, uh, if you don't want to buy it for $15, uh, you can just do the normal, regular lines and claim your rewards. But if you want the uh, tail at the end, uh, you'll have to purchase that and uh, just do the missions every day and uh, claim your final fox tail reward. It's really good. It's uh, it, Even if you're not buying the premium one, it's, it's still really good. So... Um, this, this is probably the only good thing about uh, the sales uh, this month, so it's really cool. That's it with the uh, sales, let's get to the events. Alright, and finally for the events. Uh, the Hero Pass is actually one of the events, right? So uh, we already went through it in the um, uh, sales uh tab so uh there's only two events left so uh let's go and have a look my wish to the mother of all uh basic construction uh event whenever you have this either a statue uh on your screen or you have a cat you know where you had to feed it so basically you complete the raids from dulahan to uh, see it you get the blessed shards every day and uh you just use them and complete your statue. Whenever the statue just fills up, uh, you gain the rewards. That's it. It's We, we had that a million times. Uh, there was nothing really to explain. Uh, you can earn up to 40 a week, so uh, you can actually just uh, do it in one day if you want to. Or, uh, you know, or just, uh, just split it on every day. It's just... 
whatever you want. This is the blessings that you get, the stuff, so the first, second, and so on. Party Merc Recovery Pots, Seal of Bravery, Experimental Outfit Die, Amples, Unstable Enhancement Rune, which is really good, Item Revival Cost Scroll, really good too if you're enhancing Goibstone, uh, a title, Unstable Enchant Rune, and the final blessing, uh, which is going to be the tenth one, you get the Goddess's Blessing, which is a box. Upon use, randomly obtain one of items below. So, uh, <clears throat> let's have a look. So you get either a, a level 11 Fergus's Stone, level 105, and level 100 too. That's really good. Unstable Enchant Rune, Unstable Enhancement, Premium Enhancement Rune, Restoration Scroll, Damascus Steel Destiny Box, where you can choose either a level 100 or uh, just regular Damascus Steel. Departure licenses uh, and just ample extractors and stuff. This is uh, really good. That last box you would want to go through it, and it's repeatable. It's repeatable. So whenever you get to level ten, uh, you can just uh, continue blessing your statue, and whenever it's uh, filled up, you're gonna get another final blessing, another goddess's blessing. Sorry, and uh, you can just uh, roll these and try to uh, get some some of the good stuff here. Usually you're probably just gonna get Divine Blessing Stones and Merc Recovery Potion Plus because that's just it's just the 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 amount uh, the percentage of them dropping is probably like 95% or something. So just do the raids every day, uh, get these shards. Don't forget to spend them, use them, and fill up your statue and uh, receive your rewards. And finally is half and half prize wheel event. Uh, same. Do the raids again. And this says clear level 95 plus rates to claim rank 16 chance and more. That's really weird. Uh, like, what do you mean rank 16? I, I think it's a typo, to be honest. I think you get the tickets whenever you complete the level 95 plus raids or whatever. Uh, or maybe it's just, it's not even, like, it's not even to that. You don't have to have to, upon clearing a battle appropriate for your level. You can obtain up to four half and half spin tickets items a day. So okay, so yeah, you do raids, you obtain four tickets a day, and then you can spin the wheel. And the wheel is 50-50. So 50% 50 of them is AP capsules, and 50% of them is um, uh, fatigue potions. So this event is actually really good if you're running low on fatigue potions, if you're a new player and if you need AP or fatigue. This event is really awesome. Uh, don't miss that. It's really, really good. And that's about it for the uh, patch notes. Let's get to the conclusion. So this is pretty much it covering today's patch. Very underwhelming, really like, uh, honestly for me, I don't know what to do for the next month in Vindictus. Uh, just B b besides just shooting the uh, new video guides that are coming for you, my friends. But honestly, this is really, really bad patch. Really bad. Please step up your game. Stop uh, increasing the gap between us and KR, for God's sake. Uh, give us the outfits, too. The uh, the new KR ones. What the hell? <laughs> this was Legend Arma TV. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Uh, it's really, really appreciated. It helps uh, us grow. Uh, it help, it motivates me to um, continue our journey. It's really, really nice. Uh, please uh, let me know in the comment section below how you feel about this patch, because I feel it's really shit. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope I'm not the only one who thinks that. Uh, but uh, still try to enjoy whatever is given. Uh, and I see you very soon. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, I love you all 3,000.